Welcome, in front of me is Dell G15 and in this video I will show you how to install Windows from USB on this device. So first of all, of course, you have to prepare uh, a USB flash drive with at least 8 gigabytes of uh, storage memory uh, and uh, and uh, we'll also have to create an ISO image for uh, the for uh, for the Windows 11 installation. Uh, to do this, uh, I suggest that you're gonna use a, a different device other than this laptop. I'm gonna uh, uh, I'm gonna do it on a different device too. So I'm gonna uh, show you the screen of my other uh, PC on which I'm gonna prepare the. Uh, ISO image for Windows installation. So, uh, so let me uh, switch to it uh, right now. Okay, so to begin the installation process, open the web browser and uh, look for, search for uh, Win 11 ISO. That's enough, I think. Uh, now scroll down and select um, the microsoft.com page that says uh, download windows 11 okay uh, click on it and right now to download an iso file for windows 11 uh, go right here then expand this list select windows 11 to click confirm and wait until your request is validated Us usually it takes uh, a couple of seconds okay right now let's uh, select the product language so go with uh, one that you are familiar with and then click OK. OK, and when you're ready, uh, press 64-bit download and wait until your uh, until the file is uh, downloaded. In the meantime, we'll have to install uh, the Rufus program for creating a, an ISO image. So look up Rufus, open the, uh, the Rufus.ie uh, IE page and then uh, scroll down and select this file to begin the, to, to install the application. And if it doesn't want to run on your PC when you, when you open it, then uh, download this version instead. Okay. And right now, uh, right now we have to select the device. So this is uh, this device should be your has to has to be your uh, flash USB flash drive that you're gonna use for uh, for the installation. And in case you have any storage. Uh, any file stored in it, uh, your personal files or uh, anything else, then first uh, 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 cut them out your USB flash drive and paste uh, them somewhere on this uh, device uh, so, th so they don't get lost. Uh, okay, so as you can see the ISO file is uh, downloaded, so now let's uh, use it. To use it, click select right here. Then select the Windows 11 24H2 uh, ISO image file. And then all you have to do is click start. You don't have to change anything here. Just click start. Uh, no, don't hit any checkboxes. Uh, click OK. OK again. And then what you have to do is wait until uh, this uh, field fills with green color and uh, it says ready. So it's gonna take a couple of minutes, uh, so let's wait. Okay, and when it says ready, you can close the application and safely eject your USB flash drive. Then, what you have to do is uh, insert your uh, USB flash drive into your laptop and of course, uh, plug your laptop to the uh, charging. Uh, plug the charging cable into your laptop. So right now, let me change the view. I'm gonna insert 
USB flash drive. Okay, and what we have to do now is press the power button once, and while the device is powering, powering on, start pressing F12 button until you see the uh, boot menu on your screen. So press the power button and then uh, start pressing F12 uh, key until you uh, see the F uh, the boot options selected. Okay, uh, so right now what we have to do is uh, s select the USB one option using arrow keys and confirm uh, using enter okay so right now let's wait until we see the windows installation uh, window okay so when the window appears uh, you can select uh, your time and currency format uh, using uh, ex by expanding this uh, tab. Uh, you can also select language, but in, in my case, uh, but usu usually you won't have uh, you only you'll only have the uh, the options that you selected uh, during the download of the ISO file. Okay, so input uh, keyboard or input method. Select it right here and click next. Then, uh, of course, choose install my, uh, Windows uh, 11 and uh, hit the checkbox next to I agree everything will be deleted, including files, apps, and settings. Then click next. And then I think we'll have to, of course, uh, accept the user agreement. And now what we have to do with we deal with the disks and memory and storage. So what you have to do on in this window is delete each partition that goes before your uh, flash drive. So for me it's these four partitions. So select one of them, click delete partition right here. Then select the next one and click delete partition once again. As you can see, uh, we by doing this we create unallocated space that already has 40, 465 gigabytes in it. Okay, so let's delete the last partition. Okay, so at this point we don't have to delete anything and we'll use this unallocated space to create a system disk, a C uh, disk uh, if you will. But if you want to create a separate disk uh, for you to store your personal files, then you just uh, have to select this unallocated space and click Create Partition right here, and then select the size in megabytes uh, for your new partition. And uh, uh, no, it doesn't matter uh, how many, how much memory you you want to have in it, uh, storage you ha want to have in it. I suggest that you uh, leave at least uh, 100 gigabytes of unallocated space. So in this case, uh, I think I can use like uh, uh, three hundred sixty-five thousand uh, megabytes and create a partition of this size, and uh, it will still be fine. Uh, uh, so normally the system disk uh, requires uh, only sixty-four gigabytes of memory, but I suggest that you go with uh, at least one hundred gigabytes for your system disks. Uh, as it will uh, significantly improve your experience. Okay, so that's what you do if you want to create a separate disk from a system one for storage in, for storing uh, files and uh, f um, files and uh, informations uh, that you have. So once you uh, select, uh, once you uh, have the size in megabytes, click click uh, apply and uh, the and the file uh, that the, the partition will be uh, created. Then you'll have to select the unallocated space uh, and click next to continue. Okay, so right now we simply have to click install and wait until the Windows is uh, installed on this PC.
and at this point the installation is complete and you can get to the setup process of your laptop uh, if you need some help on your way uh, when we have an entire video on our channel that will explain everything to you step by step so thank you for watching this video if you liked it con uh, consider subscribing to our channel leave us a like and a comment below and i'll see you in the next one